Hello, I'm with a student here, and we are going to show what it is like to log into Thrively for the first time. So go into the chat if you uh, haven't already, and there's a link in there, and uh, click on the link to open up a window. It's at thrively.com slash login. If you didn't have a link to that somewhere, you could also just do a search uh, in a search engine for Thrively, and you would find um, the home page, and then click on login. Now, for us, everything in our system, we use uh, Google for the student sign in. So go ahead and click on the Google button. And you're going to select your account with the school account. Make sure that you don't select any um, other accounts or personal accounts, just your school account. So this is something that it does ha ask access to, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Go ahead and click Allow. And click on I'm a student. Uh, you can enter the information here, uh, but it doesn't have to. Looks like we had a reset. That's OK. Go ahead and click on your name again. I'm not sure the expectation, but we're click on I'm a student again. It probably just went back by accident. And you don't have to upload a photo. And you don't have to enter your true birthday I don't believe. It looks like we're getting redirected again and again. So when you clear browsing history, it does log you out. Uh, so you will be logged out for a moment while we do the, the clear browsing history. Go to a new tab. And in the search bar, um, start typing clear browsing, B-R-O-W. Um, and do you see that one that almost looks like a button? It's it's in the middle of the search results. Click on that button. And that'll that's one way that you can jump right into your settings kind of as a shortcut where you can clear um, browsing history. And uh, go ahead and do all. It's, it's not going to clear out your bookmarks, but it is going to clear out anything from your <clears throat> temporary cache so that um, it might help us with access into the, the website. Once you clear data, it is going to log you out, so it's going to kick you out of this website. Uh, you'll just have to log back in and go find the link again, but I'll, I'll send a message directly to you to rejoin. Clear data. And we're going to select the Google button to log in with our district Google account. You can select your school account. Click on I'm a student. And you don't have to upload a photo, but go ahead and put in a date of birth. We're still um, asking for clarification, but it's possible that you might not even need to enter in your um, actual date of birth. It just needs something in there. I believe the year is probably important just to ensure that you are um, old enough to access the content. And then begin exploring Thrively. You do not have to type in this information. So for now, let's go ahead and click Skip.
It's going to ask you for some preferences here. Feel free to select um, things that uh, you feel you can relate to. You can select just one or multiple. Go ahead and just select one of these, and then let's move forward. Same thing. and then click I'm finished at the bottom. So for your first time logging in, the first thing we are going to have you do is to start your strength ass assessment. You do not have to click it right now, um, but that is going to be the first task for you to do. Um, that concludes our you know, recording of the first time logging in. Thank you for helping us show this to other students.